Hello everyone. Hope everyone is doing fine and I'm also fine. And today my video is a little bit different from the previous videos which I have been uploading and I've been receiving a lot of messages and inquiries about my careers or about uh, how to prepare for GSI and stuff like that. And I've been planning to upload some videos regarding my career and today uh, I'm going to share you a little bit about my career and at the same time this UBSC GSI uh, 2022 examination is coming up soon so I will be uploading uh, a little some tips about how to prepare for your prelims as well as the mains from my own experience and yeah do the but for now I just want to share my career journey with you guys and hopefully you guys will like it so my school days begins at my village I did my nursery till class 4 uh, at Mount Moria school Uma and I have a lot of profound memories there because that is the place where it all started and once I completed my class 4 I shifted to a new school from class 5 to class 12 uh, I studied in E.T. Douglas higher secondary school mm, there also I had a lot of profound memories as well because almost half of my school days I spent there so I have good memories as well as some not so good memories and really I miss the school once I completed my higher secondary school there in Itito class I was in dilemma like many other students I was whether I could join medicals or engineering or should I join for BSc so I was in quite dilemma which one to do it and yeah like many others I aspire I was aspiring to become a medical uh, profession but <laughs> you know it didn't uh, work out and I joined BSc and I joining BSc was also a difficult part of my life because I joined science college and even now do these days it's one of the best colleges in Nagaland and to get selected there it's very difficult during our time also it was like around three four thousand uh, students appear for the entrance examination just for 260 seats and it was very difficult and and at the same time just clearing that examination is one two to get an uh, owner seat uh, in geology also it was again one of the toughest so you should be on the top list while giving interest examination to give that uh, to get the owner seat so I was not expecting but by the grace of God I got selected and I got the honors seat there in science college and yeah that's where my geology started before joining I was not aware of anything else I don't know what geology is so I just joined and once I joined uh, my BSc uh, it was a little bit difficult for me at the start because we never studied geology uh, during our higher secondary as well as in high school days so it was a little bit difficult for me but the teachers out there in science college uh, they are so good uh, they teach uh, all the basics of geology and it makes us easy to study geology uh, as a freshers and everything becomes quite interesting but not all the topics to be frank especially paleontology because i really hate memorizing all those scientific names and evolution and all those things jokes apart and there also i had really good memories there i had the best days of my life in Kohima science college and still i cherish those memories and once i complete my graduation I my plan was to study in Kumaon University and there also I got selected and my journey in Masters of Science in Geology started there and there also it was a quite different for me because that was the first time going outside our state and staying in different place 
So at first it was difficult there also, but after a few months, everything was quite smooth and easy. That's what my career progression was from nursery to my uh, MSc. I had to stop my videos uh, because there were a lot of noises outside and even now so you have some bit of noises but I have to keep on recording. Uh, so coming back to my journey to GSI I have been preparing since my college days by building up my concept like once I started joining learning geology I was so much interested in this particular subject because this subject fits my personality I'm an outdoor kind of person who loves to go outside most of the time and stay with nature and this subject it automatically clicks with me and from the start I really enjoyed studying I enjoyed learning and that's how I started with geology and but my real preparation for my GSI examination uh, it started only during my MSc days that also uh, two months before my exam and I really don't have much uh, experience like my hardship in preparing this examination but that doesn't mean that I don't have any story to share I have a lot of stories I even me also I have my own story for me uh, I am like I don't prepare in advance to be frank because I enjoy studying with pressure when there is last few hours when there is few days so that time i enjoyed studying and that time only whatever the things that i uh, i'm going to study it all goes in my head and i don't forget about it so in last semester or on of my msc uh, i really start preparing for my gsi examination because i feel like i need to study because there were only few months left and within that few months i have to cover all my uh, geology syllabus which is very vast and even today i uh, i like i still have a lot of things to learn so i decided that i should focus on my studies now so that two months it was a do or die situation for me because uh, luckily or unluckily uh, we were the last page of or that uh, examination pattern uh, because from 2020 that examination pattern has been changed and this preliminary has been aided so for us we just have to directly go and give uh, men's examination so it was kind of a pressure for me also because if I don't get this examination that means I have to go through preliminary as well so there was a lot of pressure and at the same time for me personality personally that was my first examination my first attempt so I don't have much experience so but because of my seniors like there were some seniors who guided me and who shared their experience their exam tactics and because within two months it was very difficult for me to complete my uh, syllabus so I study most of the times like I will go to class and then after coming to class I usually study in place of um, involving in some activities like playing games or like going hanging out with my friends going for a while I skip that for two months like I didn't go um, those kind of social activities but in place of that uh, i started preparing for my uh, gsi examination so you have to sacrifice something to get something so that's how i sacrifice my time i sacrifice a lot of time because in msc fourth semester that was the last uh, days of my student life so many people were enjoying like you know so but for me i sacrificed that last two months preparing for gsi and dude here i am today uh successfully clearing that examination in first attempt to clear this examination i sacrificed a lot of things like not going outside not playing not going out with my friends not being sociable like a lot of things uh i have to avoid 
to prepare for this examination and i i told you like i assure you like if you sacrifice something it will never go in when obviously you will uh, get that what you are uh, searching for so never lose hope keep faith and keep following your patient and in the end you will achieve that uh, for me also during that few months and before that also i really had a tough time but now i forget all those things i now i remember only the good days and yeah i'm having a good life right now i'm happy with my life i'm happy with my job and who knows in future i may change but presently for me now i'm really enjoying my life because this was the organization where i have been trying to join since my college days and i'm really proud of it like i feel privileged and i'm really lucky to be a part of this organization being uh, such an reputed organization as a geologist many uh, geologists many students aspiring uh, wants to join here in this organization but only few got get a chance to join here and i'm also the lucky one so keep working if you really want to join here keep working hard don't lose your faith keep working and one day i will meet you and yeah we will share or ex my experience in your experience so keep working study hard within few days i will be uploading uh, my uh, strategy how i prepare for my main exam and i will also share some tips how to prepare for your prelims as well and if possible i can also share about my interview experience and interview strategy also and hopefully you guys like my video keep continuously supporting my video it's quite new uh, i have a lot of things to learn keep supporting and i need you guys suggestions so please do suggest me what are the types of videos that i should make and especially if you want some tips regarding this uh, geoscientist examination then do comment or inbox me and i will do that thank you stay safe